see there. Um, if I can find the front of this. Okay, this is Violator Doppelbach, uh, and it's 25 IBUs, 8% alcohol by volume. Um, hmm. I guess Violator is the name of the company. I'm so confused by this. Anyway. I think it's the name of the company, but um, there's not a lot of information on this can. Oh, pouring it on myself. Okay, brewed by Champion Brewing Company. Okay, so Champion Brewing Company's Violator Doppelbach. Um, so this is one of the styles that I like a lot because it tends to be malty um, and not as hoppy. Um, and it's deep and toasty, and you can really taste all the grains. So I'm pretty excited um, to give this a try. Um, unfortunately, I made a mess in the process. And now I smell like beer. Um, anyway, so deep, to oh gosh, toasty grain. It's just like, mmm. Yum, yeah, toasty grain. Roasty and toasty. Um, it's this beautiful kind of auburn, gold, uh, not quite amber color. Um, it did pour with a little bit of head, but again, these are tiny little glasses, so sometimes it doesn't work as nicely here. Um, let's taste this. Wow, this is so smooth. It's delightfully toasty, um, you know, toasted grains um, and clean. Um, it has a really long kind of lingering taste to it, which is really interesting. You can feel, I can feel it on my whole tongue. Um, and just like at the end, it kind of gets almost like a burnt, acrid finish, um, but not intensely. It's just like a little kind of wrap, curling little smoke at the end. Um, super drinkable. Wow, this is a really good beer. Um, so it says, so this is part of the uh, European strong ales. Um, and like I said, it's 8% alcohol by volume. So it's traditionally brewed in winter. Our big, strong lager beer has pleasant raisin and light toasted notes. Yes, raisin. Sure, now that I think about it. Almost tobacco-y, as a matter of fact. Um, definitely toasty. Like there's a, I think, a Icelandic makes a toasted porter, and it reminds me of that. So it's not smoky, but you can definitely tell that the grains... Um, are browned slightly, and it just brings out this really rich, um, complex flavor I like a lot. Um, beautifully done. So balanced and, and, and so drinkable. Um, it's almost better with every drink. Like You don't quite get that same acrid finish at the end, or that kind of mm, tongue feel. Um, but um, uh, this is, so it's a, a lager style, um, but, um, you know, done dark and with deep roasty notes to it, which is really um, uh, pretty agreeable to me because I'm really into malt style beers a lot. Um, they're, you know, it's super crystal clear, uh, and um, part of that's the lagering process because it's, it's um, brewed longer, so it has a longer kind of fallout time. Um, 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 oh, I forgot to even talk about body. Just reading the notes for the style in case they were interesting and shareable. Um, um, it has a medium body to it. You know, it's, it has like an element of creaminess, um, nice, uh, carbonation to it, um,
smooth in its alcohol. I mean, even at 8%, it doesn't make your tummy warm. It doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't like make you go, whew. Um, yeah, very drinkable. Um, so, liquid bread. Mm. Very good beer. Um, very well done. I'm really glad that I came across um, the Violator Doppelbach. So again, this is, um, oh, it's, there I can see it, Champion Brewing Company. Um, and uh, I don't know where they are because there's not a lot of information on this can. So you can find out at championbrewingcompany.com. I'm totally not going to look because I'll forget that I had planned to do that. Um, so Violator Doppelbach. Uh, good brew. I got this um, from Tavor. Um, mailed to me, I think, last month. What is this, May? I don't even know when this came. It's been a while. Maybe this month. Maybe I got it this month. Um, great beer, um, and uh, I definitely recommend it if you can try it. If you have tried it, please share it with me down below your thoughts uh, and where you were able to find it so those that are coming can drink it as well. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good night.